Hi all, welcome to Chemical and Feed the Chemistry. Here I am back after two months, and I'm really sorry that I could not make any video for last two months, and due to some health issues. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and don't forget to press bell button. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about one of the prominent entrance exam that is IIT JAM. Uh, maybe you are aware of this exam, but some of you may have a lot of doubts regarding this. And here uh, we are going to discuss and rectify all your doubts about this exam. And the main key points included are what is meant by IIT JAM and its eligibility criteria pattern of examination or how the test paper will be, application procedure, exam centers and syllabus, especially chemistry. So we can check in detail. And what is meant by IIT CHAM? It's an admission test conducted for admission into Masters of Science or other PG programs at IITs and IAC and it's organized by uh, alternate uh, institu in institution of IITs and IACs and it is joint admission test for masters and it's open to all nations without any age limit age limit also foreign students can apply but the compulsory thing is that uh, they should have an Indian degree and it's a computer based online exam uh, so for apply to apply for this uh, for admission you should qualify the text paper or the entrance exam and you should have a minimum educational qualification also some eligibility requirement are there that we will discuss later and general obc non creamy layer ews scst pw category have separate cutoffs and admission is completely based on rank in jam exam and the main areas uh, in which this exam is conducted biotechnology chemistry economics geology mathematics mathematical statistics physics and this economics is recently added and what is the eligibility criteria for that you should have a qualifying degree with an aggregate mark of 55 percentage or cgp or cpa of 5.5 uh, out of 10 for general obc and dwc categories and an aggregate mark of 50 percentage or 5 out of 10 for scst and pw candidate and you have uh, some uh, educational qualification and uh, uh, eligibility requirement Though, uh, for that uh, I, I will provide a link you, you can check in that uh, you can uh, if you have some dual degree you can check in that link and foreign for, for foreign students you must have an Indian degree that is the compulsory thing and coming to the pattern of examination uh, that is fully object it is a fully objective type and this objective like uh, first two parties uh, multiple choice questions will be there also multiple select question will be there numerical answer type question will be there uh, you may be aware of these things multiple choice means uh, you have uh, four options out of that one you can uh, you can pick uh, multiple select means uh, there are more than one correct answer and numerical type answer means you have to type the answer or numerical values through virtual calculator and as you know that nowadays uh, almost in all exams you cannot use calculator or any other electronic device virtual calculator will be provided then the question pattern will be uh, there will be three sections section a b and c for, uh, in section a mcq will be the uh, that contain one more question also two more questions and uh, section b will be msq type and it will have only two more questions and section uh, c that is numerical answer type that also have one more question and two more question overall uh, total question will be 60 and total mark will be 100 and you have a minus mark also will be the uh, 30 percentage of 30 percentage of total mark will be the um, your uh, negative mark and for numerical answer type there will be no negative marking then application procedure uh, we can apply uh, through online and uh, we have to create one profile uh, using one email id and you will get one username and password you through that you can log into your profile and you can upload your photograph signature and other documents then you can 
pay the application fee and after that you you have to check thoroughly uh, the profile so you uh, you can uh, you get, you will get an idea that your application is accepted or rejected or some defect if some defect is there that also uh, they will mention in that uh, according to that you can uh, make your status received and perfect you can download your admit card also uh, through that uh, your profile and you can write exam then uh, you can see the answers and marks in uh, jamsco you can uh, download jamsco card and if you are qualified and you your rank is uh, in top you will get uh, admission in iits or iiss and if you have low rank you have to try later and the common exam centers are these are and in kerala also a lot of uh, centers are there almost in all, all district they have centers then um, just we can go through some important dates and i'm just talking about uh, jam 2022 and these all dates are tentative and uh, i'm not sure that uh, uh, this will happen but you will get a idea regarding the uh, distribution of uh, dates like when it is when it will start uh, when the exam will conduct and uh, when the result will get like that uh, you will get, uh, have a good idea regarding the dates uh, now these are tentative so online application start on first week of september 2021 and the last date will be first week of october 20, 2021 that is almost within one month they will close the application so now it's april so if you are interested to uh, interested in this exam you can start your preparation from this day onwards because um, uh, only uh, next year only the exam will be there but uh, the you can cover all the syllabus within this uh, one year or uh, nearly eight months will be there so you can cover all your syllabus you can go you can do your revision or you can do your mock test so uh if you have a idea about the dates it it would be more helpful so online application start from 1st uh, september first week of september then uh, application uh, final date of or last date of applica uh, application will be first week of october 2021 and if you have some correction in that you can do in the second week and uh, you can change your exam city also uh, in the third week of october then a uh, jam admit card will be available uh, from first week of january 2022 and the exam date will be uh, first and second saturday, uh, saturday and sunday of february 2022 nearly like that if you are applying on september the exam will be on february so that much gap is there so you you will get enough time for studying and the answer key within one month they will uh, provide your answer key and jam result normally declare or uh, in the last week of march and you can download score card after that and the counseling and the admission it will uh, it will be uh, in april may like that it will start from there onwards so now 2021 jam 2021 uh, over now it's time for jam 2022 so you now you have some idea regarding the dates so you can start your preparation well and now we can go through the syllabus Uh, i'm talking about chemistry syllabus it has three part physical chemistry organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry and we can check what are the topic coming under physical chemistry that is basic mathematical concept will be the atomic and molecular structure theory of gases solid state chemical thermodynamics <coughs> chemical and phase equilibria electrochemistry then chemical kinetics adsorption and spectroscopy and uh, now we can go go to organic chemistry in organic chemistry some basic concept of organic chemistry and stereochemistry then organic reaction mechanism and synthetic application you can see here lot of uh, named reaction uh, that you you have to study then qualitative uh, organic analysis and natural product also aromatic and heterocyclic chemistry uh, this these five topics are included in organic chemistry coming to inorganic chemistry 
contain periodic table, chemical bonding and shape of compound, main group elements, transition elements, uh, also bioinorganic chemistry, instrumental method of analysis and last analytical chemistry. So now you got an idea about the syllabus and how vast it is. For a BSc student, you have to uh, uh, you have to check a uh, lot of books and if you are uh, first year BSc, you, you can start preparation from first year itself if you are interested in IA, joining in IATs. If you have a dream on IAT or IAC, you can uh, go uh, for IAT jam exam and, uh, and it is uh, like uh, you have to cover the syllabus and you have to uh, go through a lot of question paper and you can do mock test so that anybody can qualify jam okay that is not a tedious work if you are properly working on that now uh, i have one institute spartans and this is a coaching center uh, providing coaching for iat jam and csir ugc net gate as well as they are giving some ug chemistry tuitions and this uh, uh, institute is located in kerala column and the classes is conducted by Ajin Babo, who is one, uh, one of my friend and he completed his uh, PG from ISER Kolkata and he had secured the JRF two times by, uh, during his course uh, and uh, what make them special actually they are not interested in our traditional uh, what uh, uh, traditional lecture method uh, they are uh, just adopting some problem solving method so uh, they will give you some questions and you have to do that thing and from that they will get an idea about your capacity your merit your limit all those things they will get so according to that they will provide classes for you so that always help you and uh, they are giving some in, uh, individual uh, individual uh, attention to you people so if you have any doubt you can directly ask them and uh, they are maintaining some friendship or uh, some friendly nature they have and uh, it may give the students more uh, what more free to talk or, or to discuss the doubts so you you will have a good atmosphere there uh, so you can study better okay i think uh, that is that is what they are interested and this is some of the their latest rank or uh, this is uh, Muhammad Ijaz and he qualified uh, rank 383 in uh, IIT Cham and he also qualified a gate exam and now you know that uh, now BSc students also can apply for gate exam um, so he qualified both gate and IIT Cham and these are other the other result also they are providing CSAR net uh, coaching uh, these are some of their results and interesting is that uh, last time they have only five or six students and out of that three are qualified and for if you are interested and uh, for more details you can contact Ajin at any time and I will give uh, the contact details in the description box okay that uh, that much only if you like this video Please like, share, subscribe and don't forget to press bell button. Next time I will come with another interesting video. Uh, up to that, stay tuned.